name is Olivia Devitt, and I'm here to talk to you about how introverts are different than the rest of the world. Intro introverts and extroverts may seem similar on the surface, but take a look at the way they interact day to day, and there are some major differences. Now, being an introvert, I have consistently been told that I'm unapproachable, rude, too quiet, uh, and just a little bit standoffish. And to be honest, that's not true. It just is simply how I am interacting with my setting and my surroundings. Uh, introverts just function and receive energy different than maybe extroverts or other people in their social settings. Introverts are just like normal people. They just interact and get their energy different from extroverts, and here are some of the differences. So an introvert will typically withdraw when they are in large crowds. Now when I say withdraw, I don't mean physically, I don't mean they'll go hide in a corner. Uh, but I, what I do mean is they'll become more introspective uh, and become an internal processor as they begin to survey their surroundings and take in everything that's going on around them. Uh, Susan Cain, an author, said that we now live in a society, uh, the culture of personality. And what that means is she is describing that our culture currently is so fascinated by each, each other's personalities, uh, whether that's their personality types like the Myers-Briggs test, whether that's your strengths on the strengths finder, our culture is fascinated with how each and every single person uh, interacts with each other. Uh, now, being an introvert, uh, there is consistently a pressure, uh, especially in new social settings, whether you are in a new youth group, whether you're interviewing for a new job, um, we live in a culture that is consist consistently telling people that they need to be more of themselves in order to be seen. Now this is, proves a little bit hard for introverts because they are so introspective and internal processors uh, that they are consistently in a crowd, uh, whether that crowd is noisy, louder, uh, just more bubbly than they are or seem to be, um, and that causes a lot of pain and hurt for introverts because they really have to struggle to be seen, especially in the new job market in our economy. Uh, and most people are looking for more extroverted people, especially in customer service roles and uh, different people interaction um, careers. And so introverts don't necessarily get the same amount of abilities, opportunities, any of that within the job sphere. Sophia Dembling said, it ultimately comes down to how a person receives their energy from his or her surroundings. Instead, introverts prefer deeper conversations. So this leads into my next, top, next uh, point of how introverts are different than extroverts. Uh, introverts prefer one-on-one -on -one deep conversations. Small talk is like someone's worst nightmare. Uh, take it for example, I am a barista at Starbucks, and what I love is when a customer comes up to me, knows exactly what they want, and I get to have that very brief interaction with them. Not that I don't like people, it's just simply the fact that I am here to do a job, and interacting with so many people at one time can be very overwhelming. I hate the, hey, how's your day? Oh my gosh, I really enjoy this new fall season we're in, how's the pumpkin spice light latte? Uh, I'm more than happy to answer any of anyone's questions, but uh, small talk is a little bit difficult for me, uh, and that makes social interactions and customer service jobs a little bit harder. Um, and I don't know if this is just more of an intro introvert thing, uh, but I hate compliments. Uh, I don't like it when someone points something out about me because that is very surface, uh, whether they mean it with the best intentions or not. Uh, and as although I do believe that compliments and I believe in encouraging one another, uh, for introverts it's just a little bit harder to accept those compliments. I don't know if you've come across anyone who once you give them a compliment they kind of just like freak out a little bit and they just don't know what to do with it and so they're like, uh, uh, thanks. Uh, but that's me um, and that makes it a little bit interesting in social settings, especially at church. Uh, and so, actually, that leads to my third point, uh, which is that most people that speak in front of crowds for a living are introverts. Now, that may seem like an oxymoron, a engaging speaker that's an introvert, that's an internal processor, uh, but what that really looks like for an introvert is being so isolated from the crowd that they're talking to, that they're able to have this distance, not only physically, but emotionally interacting interaction-wise, uh, but what introverts hate is the, the conversation afterwards. So we are really, really good at de delivering information, 
we are good at delivering how we interact with our world and we're able to process that because we have actually internally processed that beforehand. But uh, with introverts um, being in the crowd afterwards answering questions on, oh my gosh, that is so great of you for sharing, but yeah, it's just a little bit difficult. Uh, another fun fact about introverts is they're naturally drawn to more creative, detail-oriented careers. Uh, and while that may seem like it is a very broad topic, uh, some of the biggest writers, uh, creative artists, speakers, all of those are introverts. Um, and because that gives introverts the intellectual stimulation that they need without the actual interaction with humans on a day-to-day -day basis. And another fun fact about introverts is that they, it, they think before they speak. And while that may not be the same thing for extroverts, uh, normally we are internal processors, which means that we think and we are very much more involved in our head before we say words, which actually means that the words that we do speak have meaning and depth. And while this may seem like we come across too quiet or come across not as friendly or bubbly or wanting to interact with people as much, it actually is because we genuinely just are thinkers, which makes us really, really good listeners. Uh, and most of the, some of the best friends that I have are introverts because they are such good listeners. They allow me to speak when I want to speak, even though I'm an introvert, and they know that my words have weight and meaning, even though not saying that extroverts don't, their words don't have meaning and their lives don't have the same kind of purpose that an introvert does, but with the words that an introvert speaks, we know it is clearly thought out, we know it is clearly, how, clearly thought out how to deliver it, how to say it, how to come across uh, to different people, and that really helps uh, us be good listeners and really good at interacting, which also makes us good speakers. So in conclusion, while our introverts often get a bad reputation for being too quiet, too shy, or not approachable, that simply isn't the case. Introverts are still kind, thoughtful people who possess great listening skills, creative input, and are genuinely good friends. They simply receive energy and are recharged differently than extroverts, a personality type that is often suited by our culture. Uh, so the next time you come across an introvert, try not to further isolate them by making them feel bad for being quiet, uh, but just include them in the conversation and give them the space to process and take it all in and then give their input when they feel necessary. Thank you so much for listening.